Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to evaluate a piece of land for slope. And we're gonna use the land portal as well as Google Earth in this video. Slope is one thing that can drastically change the price of land. It doesn't matter how good of an area it's in or anything like that. Slope can make a piece of land unbuildable and very undesirable. So let's get to it. All right, so here I am on the land portal and I'm just gonna go to a sloped area. I'm gonna go to a Northeast area and I'm gonna find a parcel uh, that is somewhat sloped or decently sloped. So on the land portal, you have this 3D button here on the right side and hitting that is going to make the map 3D essentially. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick an area around here. I'm gonna hit 3D and then let's choose a parcel to evaluate. So as we scroll in, we can definitely see some more slope on here. I'm going to pick one of these two. Let's pick this one. So I'm going to click this one. And as you can see, this is very sloped. So on the land portal, if you're evaluating this piece of land, you can see this based on 3D. So uh, pretty easy to see how sloped it is. It's on the side of, I don't know if you want to see this, if it's on the, say it's on the side of a mountain, but it is fairly sloped. The question is when you're evaluating a piece of land like this is, is there buildable areas? One thing I do see is a structure on this side, which is definitely a good sign. I'm actually gonna click out of 3D so I can see what's going on in the immediate area real quick. And you can see there's a structure right here, you have a structure here, and there is a structure here. So going back to 3D, that's actually a pretty good sign that there are houses built nearby. So what you can do, according to 3D, it's still up in the air. You might need to get boots on the ground for this. It's definitely a good thing. You wanna see if there's a buildable area at the front of this property when you're doing further due diligence. But what we're gonna do on the land portal, and if you guys haven't signed up for a land portal yet, there's a 14 day free trial. I'll put the link in the description. So you click in the property and you're gonna hit download KML. This is going to pull up a Google Earth file. If you don't have Google Earth, make sure you download. It's free for your desktop. Okay, so I'm gonna click this and it's gonna open up Google Earth for me. Just give me a second. All right, so now I'm here on Google Earth and there's a couple ways we can evaluate slope on Google Earth. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to this top ruler spot where you can see up here. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna click the ruler and then I'm gonna hit path and I'm gonna hit show elevation profile. What this is going to do is show the slope of the land over time. None of these tools are as accurate as when you actually go out to the property. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the front of the property, and I'm gonna hit back of the property. And this is gonna show you the elevation profile. So you can see the arrow on the screen as I'm moving along. So this right here at the start is essentially the road frontage. And you can see over the first 15 feet, it goes from 1487 above sea level to 1500 above sea level. So what I'm looking for when I look here is 50 feet where we have, I don't know, about seven feet or so, which is a 15% slope, which is still decently sloped. So you can see from 50 to 100 feet on the property, this is going up about 10 feet, still pretty sloped. And then from 1512 to 1521, all this is about 15 to 18% sloped until you get back here. 15% slope is a question mark if you can do it or not. And one thing a lot of people look for is like these flat areas at the top, which isn't a bad thing, but you got to think how much money it costs to build a driveway 450 feet up slope to get to this flat buildable area. We don't see on the map, we don't see a lot of properties that are built up here. Everything that is built in the recent area is all built towards the front of the property. So there's not $50,000 of driveways going in there. So let me show you the other way. So based on that, I mean, it's still a question mark to me, like if it is, and we're probably gonna end up needing to get boots on the ground to actually evaluate it. But you see this little man here, you can pull him. And if it is, if you have a Google car that went down here, you're gonna be able to see the street view. And I'm gonna drop my little guy right here. And we are gonna be able to actually look at the street view and see if it can show us anything. I'm gonna actually, so here you can see it's fully treed. Not, I don't see a ton of slope at the front. The, the question is how close up we can build. So I'm gonna actually scroll over here and let's go to a neighbor. I'm gonna actually exit street view and I wanna drop the guy right here at the neighbor's house and see what this looks like. 
Okay. So here's the neighbor's house. Nice flat spot at the front. This is very, very cool. And if ours is like that, like from this side angle, I think we can probably do the same thing on our property. So this street view is an extremely valuable tool. It is hard to see sometimes when there's a bunch of trees, everything like that. There's actually a basketball hoop right here, which is cool. But other than that, that is essentially how you evaluate slope. My next steps for a property like we just evaluated would be definitely getting either a realtor to go out to the land or getting a drone photographer out to the land so you can actually see a slope. You can have someone walk the property and give you a more detailed opinion with actual boots on the ground. Other than that, guys, if you have any other suggestions for videos, please put them in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.